hear what I just said? I told you that Brenda gave birth to Sonny's grandchild and you didn't even blink. This is one of your crazy schemes that Jason keeps warning me about. You don't want Sonny to marry Brenda, so you have concocted this outlandish story that Brenda had a child with Sonny's son. Well, that's just twisted, but it's genius. Mm. Top marks. It's true. Dante took his bodyguarding duties seriously. He had an affair with Brenda, they had a child, and Dante relinquished all parental rights. I have proof. I need to make it official, that's why I came to see you. And just so you know whether you help me or not, Sonny's wedding to Brenda, it's not gonna happen. Okay. Tell me everything. Okay, well first, I started to suspect there was more going on between Brenda and Dante than they wanted anyone to know. Of course, I was accused of going over the top with this because I can't stand Brenda, so I put Spinelli on the case to help me out. The resourceful Mr. Grasshopper. He's a hacking god. Mm -hmm. I mean, first he found out that Dante guarded Brenda in 2007 in New York when they pretended not to know each other at all. Then he came up with a list of other guards who also worked with... <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Just the thought that for the last several months, you and Spinelli have been conducting this clandestine investigation into this other case. I mean, it could make for... for incredible material <laughs> what kind of material uh nothing never mind um so yes go on yes i'm on the edge of my seat all right you're enjoying this in a really bizarre way <sighs> do you want me to help you or not i tracked down one of the other guards this guy named brad norman and he said that a few days into the detail dante was spending more time in the room with brenda than outside in the hallway where he was supposed to be that proves nothing well, there's more. I asked this Norman guy if Dante and Brenda slept together, and he said he straight up asked Dante, and Dante didn't deny it. And that's significant how? Saint Dante? He would never outright lie, so he just said nothing. He didn't respond. Carly, this is all speculation. Give me something I can sink my teeth into. I'm getting to it. You're the one that told me to sit down and tell you everything. I told Spinelli to dig deeper. He hit pay dirt. Not long after Dante's guard detail ended, he made a large payment to a law firm in New York City, Garibaldi and Sloan. Their family law. Yeah. And Dante needed their services. Well, I'll be damned. Dante has signed away all legal rights to Brenda's child. Where's the baby? That's for Brenda to tell Sonny when he asks. I didn't obtain this information through legal channels, okay? Sonny's gonna say that I manufactured it, so I need you to get your hands on the legitimate copy. It needs to be notarized, certified, whatever. So you want me to get legitimate evidence that is going to devastate my most lucrative client. If he finds out that I've helped you drop a bomb on his life, he's gonna fire me. You tell me, what is it that makes helping you worth that loss? Wrap your mind around what will happen if the truth comes out after Sonny and Brenda are married. Sonny marries the love of his life and finds out that there was an affair and a secret child with his son? Or Brenda, what if she reverts back to true form? She's a black hole for attention. There's never enough. And what if she realizes after being married to Sonny, it's not the love fest she thought it was going to be? So she starts looking around for something that's going to make her days interesting. Who do you think she's going to turn to? Dante? Yeah. Like a laser? And if Sonny finds out... It's the ultimate betrayal. Sonny's wife and son. Well, what the hell is Brenda thinking anyway? Marrying the grandfather of her child. I mean, words fail. Well, they don't fail me. <laughs> Self-centered, spoiled, boy, they all come to mind. Not to mention, disturbed. You paint a horrifying picture. Sonny wallowing in his own personal hell, dragging us all down with him into the flames. Okay, you know, Sonny. Am I exaggerating? All right, I will help you get a legitimate <gasps> yes. copy. Right. of the parental agreement between Brenda and Dante. Thank you. But I have got to warn you, my ass can be covered. Ass covered every step of the way. I will never say a word. You better not say a word. But you better 
tell Sonny sooner rather than later about Brenda and Dante, because no one wants to be around if he has to suffer public humiliation with everything else on his plate. Okay, where is it? How did you know? Spinelli told me. If there's a copy in this office, I want to see it right now. Spinelli told you. I, mean, I should have known he couldn't keep anything from the master. Yeah, well, Spinelli's proud. He probably thinks it's going to be a bestseller. I mean, a bestseller. What it's going to be is a pain in my ass. The video game he did, The Secret Life of Damien Spinelli, how dumb is that? I beg your pardon. This book is not going to be dumb. We have been working very hard to well, get well, what do you mean? Wait a minute. What do you mean, we? Spinelli asked me to co author because he values my input. Okay, well, here's mine. If that book gets published and I'm in it, you're going to be suing yourself on my behalf. <laughs> Maybe you should actually read it before you pass judgment. Pardon me. If you are indeed mentioned in the book, you might actually enjoy the whimsical and slightly more sophisticated way in which you are portrayed. I'm terribly taking a look at. Don't you people believe in knocking? I'm so sorry. Here, let me get this for you. You see, I'm not the only one who doesn't knock. Oh, uh, uh sorry. I just, I thought you were expecting me, and I, I could come back. Please have a seat, Miss Barrett. Oh, oh, all right. Well, then I shall leave you in Theo Hoffman's capable hands. I can assure you, he may trust him implicitly. Bye. Bye.